What? What are you trying to say? What? This episode of Scape School brought to you by Click It or Ticket and Mog, the best web and mobile music service, period. Welcome to the show that takes other people's coal and sells them as our own diamonds. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the streets. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week we have a two-for-one special using the exact same props and the exact same setups. We're going to win not just one, but two beers with two completely different effects. Let's check it out. I said, let's check it out. What is going on? I'm Brian. How you doing, Brian? I'm Cooper. Cooper and... Nickel, like the coin, easy to remember. All right, look, we're gonna do two challenges here. I'm not gonna lie, one of them, I think, is way easier than the other one. So you have a good chance of pulling off yes. one of them, at least. I mean, hey. I only have to believe you, sir. Maybe you guys are super geniuses and you'll get both of them, who freaking knows? But here's what I wanna start things off. I grabbed a couple of highball glasses with water in both of them and a $20 bill in the middle. All I did was I put the 20 inside, I dipped them down in some water, closed them, and put them up here, okay? You can have that 20 if you can figure out a way to get it out without spilling more than, I don't know, seven, eight drops, about a thimble's worth of water. If you can't figure it out, I'll sell you the secret for a beer. Is this the easy one? This is the easy one, unfortunately. Yeah. You guys may be in trouble. <laughs> I retract my dip. Yeah. And of course, it does have to stay on the bar, because otherwise you can just go back and put it in the sink, and of course, you're gonna spill out all the water just like that. So when it's over, I want the bill to be out here and all the water to still be there. Huh. I'm so ashamed of myself right now. Like, I'll fully admit, I have no idea. I'm, all, I, I'm pretty tentative at just like touching it because I don't want to like make my pants wet. Oh, it's not like it's gonna explode with like water that's everywhere. The first time Come you've on. Made your pants wet. <laughs> huh. I have like I want to be the witty dude who like thinks of something <laughs> cool to say, but like I honestly have nothing. I love the fact that you guys, you're like, you're like two aliens yeah. who came down and you're just staring at a Rubik's Cube. Like, no, what, it, what the hell is it? It's, you know it's totally to do, so. true. Can we get like one of those calls and you know yeah, the game yeah, show? Yeah, you want to phone a friend? To, like, yeah, phone sure, a friend? go ahead. Okay, phone on, a friend, why on, not? Hold on, No, seriously. Okay, you, hey, you keep trying to figure it out. I'm going to figure out who <laughs> we're going to call. I'm going to call my girlfriend. She, she probably has even less idea than I do, but... All right, so what are you thinking right now? Where's your head at? There has to be some sort of like a vacuum. There has to be a vacuum that's going to do something. That's, that's like where my drunken thoughts are at. No answer, see? It's all her fault now, so I can blame it on her. And again, you got it in there, so there has to be a way to get it out. Well, and the way I got it in there, there's, that wasn't rocket science. I just dipped down inside the sink with all the water, and it was just in there, and I closed it, huh. and then set it up just like oh. so. That was a close call See, right there, ladies and gentlemen. We almost had a chance to blame it on you that we didn't figure it out, <laughs> but not no dice there. Huh. And we, we, we can't drip edit. more than a couple drops of liquid, correct? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say within, you know, 99% of the liquid has to stay inside there, yeah. I have nothing, like I wanna say like I can maybe flip it sideways and like push the sides so hard that nothing would drop at the bottom, but that's a lie. All right, I'm gonna grab a towel for no apparent reason, because you never know. I know. I feel like less of a man. All right, all right, here's the deal. I will sell you the answer for the first one. Don't worry, you can make it back on the second one. You guys gonna buy me a beer? I'll teach you how to do this one. Uh, I, it's worth it only because I think we can hustle another beer in the future See? based on the that's trade. What, that's good, that's, that's all fair. that matters. You I, got will, it. I will trade you for that drink. <laughs> Guys, it's a fact. Men your age are less likely to buckle up, and it's because you're dumb. Nearly 75% of male passengers, 18 to 34, killed in passenger vehicles were not wearing their seatbelts. What else are you gonna do? You gonna ride a roller coaster and be like, oh no, no, I don't need the lap bar. You gonna get in a space shuttle and be like, eh, eh, no, don't worry about it. I'm fine, really. You gonna drive your NASCAR? Those geniuses, they know what they're doing. They buckle up, and so should you, especially at night. Two thirds of people who die in accidents at night, not buckled up. Look, you may be a safe driver, but then there's crazies and drunkos and drunko crazy people all at the same time. Look, the police are gonna be out in force leading up to Memorial Weekend. We're talking hundreds of state and local law enforcement officials. They're gonna be handing out tickets leading up from May 16th through the 30th. They're gonna be looking for you. They're like, they're like, it's a it's a dumb people tax. If you're too dumb to wear a seatbelt, guess what? You're gonna be giving up a ticket. Look, just do yourself a favor, man. Save your own life, save some bucks. Click it or ticket. It's that simple.
Now, I got to admit, you guys were fair and you gave it your best, but what I was surprised by, you had good questions about can I pick it up and can I move it or whatever, but you didn't ask what tools you could use oh. for it. Because you got to, I mean, obviously you're not going to pull it out with the force of your mind and you can touch anything. You, the only requirement here. What do we got behind that desk? On that, well, let's take a look. In my back pocket, I happen to have ah. just a deck of cards. Now, here's well, the thing. Well, then, that just changes the situation. But you see, you can use a business card so. or you can use an ID, but you'll You'll notice it's just oh. thin enough you and it, it seals through. off to where you push it all the way. Sir, that is why you are a better man than me. <laughs> oh. Now you can wow. see, because, because I'm using a playing card here, it's getting soggy really fast. If you use an ID, you, you got to make sure it's a thin ID, but you can tell. Yeah. I don't think our Canadian ideas would even last up in the water, to be honest. There we go. All right, now, but don't worry, because we're left with another puzzle here. Don't now, I, I got my 20 back here, but now the question is, you've got two glasses still filled with water, and my challenge to you, gentlemen, is I want you to get all of the water out of one of the glasses, either one, it could be the top one or the bottom one, without touching anything. Can't touch the bar, can't touch the glasses, can't touch anything. All of the water out of the glasses without touching any of it. All of the water out of one of the glasses without touching it. Well, no, he's already established. Say, okay, you already used tools. No, no, no. He's already. He's, <laughs> no, no, no. he's already. He's already proven that he's the otter rolled over with the rocks <laughs> matching, you know, the seashell. So like, we've got that established. The question is, is can we be an equally smart or yes. smart otter? Yes. Yes. <laughs> The horrible part is that all that keeps popping into my head is a blowtorch, and I realize that that's not the answer in any way. <laughs> and plus, but, if there's a blowtorch no, at the bar, I, I, you I, got I, a problem. I agree with you fully. <laughs> I'm just saying is that all that keeps popping into my head for whatever reason is a blowtorch. Are you guys calling it? You ready for the I, answer? I got nothing. I don't. I think I would rather just pay for the drink than actually keep humiliating myself like this. There you go. All right, so that's one. <laughs> What do you got? Well, then, why don't you try something? You're not moving. I can't touch it, so. Yeah, but you got to do something. Sitting there looking at it. Yeah, the, the right. Jedi trick. I'm just waiting for somebody over there to slam on the table. No, but... No, no, no. Yes! I did it! Come on. That's your cue. No. And they all know the secret is the problem. They're about to. In fact, you're all gonna learn the secret. In fact, I'm gonna call it for you. I think we're, we're gonna, gonna call it. I'm gonna call it. We have no You run idea. out the clock, you we got no nothing idea. left. All right, what were the rules? Tell me the rules again. The, the rules were that we had to drain one of the two cups. That's right. We could not touch the cup. That's right. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't listen to much of the rules. That's fine, that. that's fine, that's fine. Here, all you gotta do is grab one of these. You said I couldn't touch it. No, he said you couldn't spill more than I, 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 the spill was no, the key no, no, word. No, 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 That's right, that's right. Nothing will touch. It's gonna blow it out. Uh, <laughs> Sir, you are the greater man. <laughs> Darwin says you win. <laughs> like, that is that's the, the end highest of it. compliment I've ever Darwin been paid in win. all of Scam School history. Here, I'm going to take care of the river of. <laughs> And just like that, and you know what? I'm gonna. Uh, you don't. You don't have to give me a beer. I'll buy you guys a beer because that was friggin' awesome. You guys were badass, man. All right, guys. Now it's time for me to tell you about my new BFFs in all of music. Talking about my friends over at Mog. Mog's an award-winning all-you-can-eat music service that lets you stream unlimited music on the web, on your iPhone, on your Android, on your iPod Touch, on your iPad, to your desktop computer, it doesn't matter. These guys want you to have whatever music you want on whatever platform you want and as much of it as you want. You get unlimited access to over 10 million songs right at your fingertips. Unlimited downloads to your phone, easy way to find and discover new music. You got a custom radio function and unlike Pandora, you're not automatically set up to where you have to listen to other artists. You can select artist only or you can select similar artists and there's a slider bar that you get to decide how much you want to mix it up you're free from ads you don't have to pay any per track fees you don't have to sync you don't have to worry about file storage or management you don't have subpar audio and all the other crappy things that go along with those inferior other services we're talking about cd quality radio easy playlist creation and you know what 
Mog won Best Mobile Music App and like 18,000 other awards from the likes of USA Today, Time, TechCrunch, CNET, and more. Head on over to mog.com slash scam school. Sign up for the free two-week trial. In fact, check out my personal playlist. Brian Brushwood is made of these songs. Everything from my high school up through now, I'm built of this music. It's in my DNA. Seriously, get on over to mog.com slash scam school. Join the club, man. Now, a lot of people are going to be hesitant to even try this because they don't want to get water everywhere. Calm down. Don't worry about it. So what if you spill water everywhere? This is a great couple of tricks, and I love the fact that it's two very different effects that use the exact same props. Now, I want to hear about all your success stories and your failure stories, so hit us up at the boards at scamschool.tv, where you can see over 160 episodes and counting of all the episodes right back to episode one. And if you have your favorite bar scam that we haven't covered yet, write me directly at Brian at revision3.com and tell me all about it. If you're doing the Twitter thing, you can ask me questions. I'll respond live right there online by following me at twitter.com slash schwood, or you can follow the show for updates at twitter.com slash scam school. Next week, make sure to join us because we are going to learn how it is possible to kick it in the front seat while hanging in the back seat without all that stupid auto tune. I'm gonna have a drink. Next week, you don't want to miss it. Twitter.com slash scam school. Next week, make sure to tune in. Tune in. Who tunes in? What is this, 1955 with a, you know, click, 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 VHF for the win. Make sure to join us next week. Make sure to do it. Wow, it's getting worse. I need a drink. That's a good one.